Hi guys, so welcome, welcome back to my channel because you're doing fantastic. So in today's video, we are doing another foundation test, obviously, by the title, you can tell. I don't know why that intro was a bit mocked up. Anyway, so in today's foundation test video, we are going to be putting the Too Faced Burn This Way um, foundation to the test. And I have it right here. I've been looking forward to trying this out, especially since when Jackie and I um, announced her collaboration with Too Faced to launch new deeper shades. So I've been looking forward to doing this. And guys, before we go ahead, I know that this foundation is not really marketed to be good for oily skin and it's not really marketed to have a long lasting power either so we're just going to test the abilities to see whether or not it, it will suit oily skin and which other skin type it will suit perfectly as well okay so if you're interested in here what i've got to say about this foundation be sure to keep on watching this video okay all right so this is the foundation right here it says two face bond this way all free undetectable medium to full coverage foundation so this is packaging nice and pink box i picked up the shade mahogany this foundation comes in 24 shades i believe when it first launched it came in 18 shades and then they added more shades and i believe mahogany is one of the newer shades they added and i swatched this and this is one that seemed closer to my skin tone this is what the bottle looks like i really like this bottle guys it's a nice frosted glass bottle it comes with a pump as well which is <laughs> fantastic so you also have 30 ml worth of product in here or one fluid ounce if you live on the other side of the world Too Faced claims for this foundation to be an oil free foundation massively that massively diffuses the lines between makeup and skin coverage so undetectable and skin so naturally radiant they'll think you were born this way tip for i woke up like this perfection apply from center of the face outward and blend built to full coverage by layering as needed and also i have another thing i have been testing this primer out this is the Too faced proactive nourishing Angover rx replenishing face primer and i actually got the what the travel size yeah i believe i have been testing this primer and i don't really like it because like it's not a the, once again they didn't advertise this primer to be suitable for oily skin either they didn't advertise it to have a long lasting power they mainly advertise it to promote elasticity and help hydrate while locking down makeup for fresher longer oh they actually advertise it to lock down your makeup for longer and more flawless wear so yeah i decided to test this primer out with this foundation today as well just kind of see maybe it works better with it i just want to get a feel of it do you know what i mean with the product it's marketed to work with okay and i don't usually do this but i just thought to do this today that is the quantity i got with one pump it's quite runny and before we go ahead can i just say congratulations to jackie and i for collaborating with Too Faced to bring out deeper shades that is just what we need literally women of color in this industry like doing things to represent us that is exactly what we need so i'm really happy that Too Faced um is collaborating with her to bring more deeper shades for us yeah This side where I used a brush to apply the foundation looks more luminous than the side where I just finished with a beauty blender. That's interesting. All right, so we're still sitting on a light coverage, okay? But I'm not gonna build it up. I'm just going to go into the areas where I feel like I need it the most, you know, and just kind of touch up a little bit. All right, so we're nice and concealed a little bit. I can still see my huge blemish right here, but we're gonna stay here. We're gonna stay at a light coverage, guys, right, with a little bit of spot concealing with the foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually set this foundation because it definitely needs to be set. And I'm gonna set it using my MAC Studio Fix powder. You see the size set with a powder? And decide that is it. Just to add a little bit more light to my face, I'm not gonna use concealer on top of this foundation whatsoever. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this um, Primark Banana Girl powder under my eye, just kinda, you know, add a bit more light, do you know what I mean, to my face. This is a really nice finish, I really like this. Especially after setting it with a powder, this foundation definitely needs to be set with a powder, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just add a bit of blush and highlight to my face and a lash and lipstick and i'll be right back all right guys so this is the finished look of the foundation after applying a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlighter literally and some lashes and lipstick and this is what my face looks like i honestly like the finish of this foundation after i have after i have set it with a powder everything looks really good i'm still sitting on a little bit of a light coverage but because i applied the max to the fix powder it kind of lifted that a little bit but i would still consider this a light coverage okay so even though even though the time right now is about 9 15 i kind of finished applying the foundation around 
8.50 or thereabouts. So I'm going to see you guys um, in a few hours. You know, hopefully this lasts longer than eight hours on my face. Okay, so I'll come back and check in with you guys a little bit later. So be sure to stay soon. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. So we are back. And the time right now is... 6 6 or 4 p.m so it's been about 9 to 10 hours roughly and this is what my face is looking like and to be honest with you guys my face has looked like this since we got back from church and that was around what one o'clock this afternoon all right so look guys even though i have shine on my face there's no separation there is cracking on my smile line but what else is new and guys i don't know if the camera is picking this up I look red right now. Remember I applied the Too Faced Hangover RX um, primer on this side of my face and I applied my regular primer on this side of my face. Like, honestly, actually, I thought this was going to be different when comparing it to my regular modifying primer, which I really, really like. This primer has been confusing the heck out of me. This side that I applied the Angova RX on, like when you touch it, it transfers L a lot and I can see the indent indentation of my finger on my face and also i can see the transfer of the foundation on my hand but this side even though yes there's still transfer it feels less luminous as like than this side does do you know what i mean so this primer is definitely a luminous primer it's one of those primers that will give you a glow from within so if you're of oily skin type and you don't like like a dewy finish type of look don't go for this primer okay that's that about the primer onto the main event the foundation honestly guys this foundation didn't claim they didn't have any longevity claim they don't have any um specific skin type claim i didn't see anything of the sorts everywhere that i checked okay so i can't really say that this primer didn't meet to its expectation in terms of longevity and skin type claim and whatnot but what i can say guys is that i would not necessarily recommend this foundation for someone who is after a matte finish long wearing foundation and you have oily skin i wouldn't recommend it but if you have normal skin and dry skin and you have to have a nice luminous um you know luminous finish type of foundation such as this i would advise you to go for this foundation this foundation is very very lightweight it's very comfortable to wear you know you don't you don't really know that you have makeup on your face except like when you have an accidental touch you know when you do an accidental touch and touch your face for like a second like it, will tra it transfers hell a lot so they said 100 percent said this foundation blurred the imperfection 98 percent said this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect 97% said this foundation provided natural coverage. Natural coverage, yes. Make your skin look perfect. Um, I don't agree with that. Blood the imperfection, I don't really agree with that. My imperfection for me and my acne scars, which I can't really see, so I guess it blurred it to a point, but that's mainly when I actually set it with the powder. Do you know what I mean? But my textures right here, I would have loved for this foundation to, to do something you know about it for me but it didn't you know like my hourglass foundation did and whatnot so now yes as i said you know i've got shine i'm gonna go ahead and kind of dab this shine with my beauty sponge and possibly touch it with a powder to kind of see because i can't see any separation underneath the shine as of now i can't see any separation whatsoever so i'm quite interested to see what it's going to look like my face looks like it looked this morning i think this foundation even though it's not specifically specifically even though it's not really specifically good or perfect for oily skin, I don't think I'll be able to pass up this foundation soon because of the fact that it did not separate on me. If the foundation doesn't separate on me, it is a, it gets a thumbs up from me, okay? So in terms of that, this foundation gets a thumbs up from me because it does not separate. It lasts a long time in terms of, in terms of separation, okay? But in terms of, you know, controlling oil or whatnot it doesn't do any of that on my oily skin it doesn't do any of that whatsoever okay so if you have normal skin if you have dry skin pick this foundation up if you have oily skin proceed with caution okay so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this foundation test video i believe this is foundation test 27 i'm not really quite sure so i hope you guys find some something about this foundation test helpful whatever you want to love yourself thank you so so much for your support thank you for thumb thumbing up thumbsing up thank you for giving all my recent videos a good thumbs up okay and thank you for commenting be sure to keep commenting on my videos just so that we can keep interacting okay and um 2018 is coming really really soon i am very excited what are you looking forward to <laughs> All right, as always, whatever they want to love yourself, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. I can feel my enemy begin to feel my drum. I am ready when it comes to pain. I'm on my I could tell you things you won't believe. I've done, I killed to feel.